God is pure holy love. When he lost us to Lucifer and the garden through Adam, the original seed, he started planning a way for us to get back to him. When they sinned and they went after the lust of the flesh, they lost their connection to God. And so he brought forth the holy seed in Jesus Christ to make a way for us. And before that, he had the Old Testament, the Old Covenant Law, as a schoolmaster to control our flesh until the seed would come. And when the seed came, that's the holy seed of God. Jesus Christ is that seed. He was born of the Holy Spirit. And when he, he fulfilled the law and he made the sacrifice, then the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out upon those that love God and would repent from living after the flesh to living after the Spirit. It's the way we're regenerated into the sons and daughters of God. It's the way we're saved. It's the love of God. It's God's Spirit in us. That's being reconciled back to our Father, our Creator. There's nothing greater than the gift of God Himself in us. So God is pure holy love. He has no evil in Him. But we do. We were corrupted by Lucifer's seed. And people want God to love them in the flesh. They want God to love evil. They don't realize it. It's very deceitful today because they have religion and they have words about God from the Bible and that makes them think they have God. But every generation God has reached out to with the love of his heart, his soul, his spirit. He's a wonderful, loving God. He reached out through the prophets. He reached out through his witnesses. He reached out through his son who gave his life and he sent forth many people and the general public, the general population hated it and hated the words that God spoke to them through his prophets and through his son and through his witnesses because it condemned them because they love the flesh more than they love God. So he allowed them to have a strong delusion. He allowed Satan, Lucifer, the devil to compile the Bible into an idol to make people think they have life when they don't actually really come to him with their heart and the spirit. They're not really regenerated. By claiming words from the scriptures, that doesn't give you what those scriptures say. But God is so wonderful that he'll let us suffer. He'll let all his, all his prophets, even his holy son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and all his children suffer to tell you the truth so that you have an opportunity to come to him. Now, there's a lot of trouble. Satan will persecute you, and your flesh is your worst enemy because it's contrary to God, and it, can't not, it cannot receive the things of the living God, the Spirit of God. But God has done all he can for this generation. He loves you, and he wants you to be saved. And he sent forth a simple prophet, a witness in Harlan to tell you the Bible is an idol. It's become the mark of the beast because the devil uses it to deceive you and to control you with. You're not controlled by God through the Holy Spirit. You're not regenerated. God is so wonderful. He is loving. He is pure. He is holy love. But religious people with their religious books, they have done so much evil. They're so corrupt. And it is obvious by their fruits you shall know them with all the evil they've done and all the evil they do, and all the lions, and the lusting after the flesh. I don't have to spell it out for you. It's pretty obvious. It's in the news all the time. I love God. God is love, but he's a holy love. He doesn't love the flesh. The flesh is evil. He knows we live in the flesh, and he will take care of our fleshly bodies because we have to live in them until we leave these bodies. But if your soul, your spirit, your heart is not filled with the Holy Spirit, when you leave your body at death, then you're not of him and you're not regenerated and you will not return to him. So just remember, God loves you, but he doesn't love your flesh and he doesn't love evil. He is pure, holy love. He wants you to love him just like he loves you. We're not capable of loving him the way he loves us, but we can love him with all our heart, with what we have in us, no matter how small we are. And he is greater than us. And he can replace, fill our hearts with his wonderful love. And you're going to be troubled in this world. There's no doubt about it. When you love God, you're going to, your troubles are going to increase in this world. But you're going to have real hope. 
You're not going to have a phony hope, a fake hope, by pretending that you're a Christian from claiming scriptures and doing some things like you, you claim you keep the Ten Commandments, but you're deceived. You can't keep the Ten Commandments. If you could, then Jesus wouldn't have had to come and die on the cross for our sins so that we could have the gift of God, which is the Holy Spirit. And then we're regenerated by the Holy Spirit. It's not keeping outward commandments like it was under the Old Covenant. Satan took the New Covenant and he made it like the Old Covenant because he knew we couldn't be regenerated or saved by the Old Covenant because it was under the flesh. Those people, those saints from the old that loved God, they came out of the grave when Jesus gave his life on the cross. And then when the Holy Spirit was poured out on the day of Pentecost, those people were the sons and daughters of God. And that's the promise of God to us. The gift and promise of God to us is the Holy Spirit. It's our only hope. It's God in us. And you trade this wonderful, beautiful gift of God, of God himself in you, for a book about God. And you're just, you're, you're living after the flesh. You're claiming the dead letter for life and it's killing you. The spirit gives life. The letter kills because you can't keep it. This generation is in trouble. The earth is so heated up now. It, the prophecy is being fulfilled that the earth will heat and it will burn people. And God didn't have to pour it out on you. You brought it upon yourself through the lust of your flesh. And all the horrible things are just going to keep getting worse. And your only hope and your only way out is through the Holy Spirit. And that's God's love to us. And you don't get the Holy Spirit by claiming scriptures or keeping scriptures or fasting or being holy. You get it when Jesus Christ gives you the Holy Spirit. He gives the Holy Spirit to them that love God and will obey God. That means you will be led by His Holy Spirit. You will be led by Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. You won't live after the flesh. You will live in it, but you won't live after it. And He knows those that really love Him. Or if you're just pandering to Him because you don't want to go to hell. He's not going to let anyone in His kingdom that doesn't have His Spirit. You that are claiming you have the Spirit because God touched you at one time or another, but you're still claiming the Bible for your faith then you've left your first love. You didn't stay in Christ. You didn't know, but that's why he gave you a chance to know so that you can come out of the harlot churches. You can come out of the strong delusion. You can really come to God. You're searching the scriptures for eternal life because in them you think you have life and those are the ones that testify of Jesus. But you don't really come to Jesus that you might have life. It's a really sad, sad time that we live in. It's the end of the world, really. The tribulation has already began, but you don't even know it. You're still trying to claim God's blessings and love and salvation upon you through the scriptures. But that isn't God's word to you. It was God's word to those to whom he spoke it to when he spoke it to them. Today, God's word to you is the Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. Come out of her. Come to the living Jesus Christ. Come to the living God through Jesus Christ with your heart. And he will fill you with the Holy Spirit. And when your spirit, your soul, your heart is regenerated, you will become a new creature. You will have a different nature. You won't love the things of the world. You'll love the things of God. And you'll want to go home to be with God in the kingdom of God forever. You won't cling to the things of this earth. You won't fight. You won't kill. You won't hate. You won't molest. You won't do those things. They won't be in your heart. Now your flesh will have needs in it. It needs food and shelter and sex. And God will provide those things for you. He doesn't condemn you for that. As long as you don't live after it and you get the things that he tells you is okay, not the things that you lust after. Anyway, the truth is God is love. God is true, pure, holy love, Holy Spirit love. There's no evil in God. Don't say bad things about him and don't blame him for your troubles. It's not his fault. It's the earth's fault. It's your fault. It's mankind's fault. It's the devil's fault for not loving God and not doing the will of God. And they love the flesh more than they love God. God is love. I know this. I have experienced it all my life. And I'm almost 70 years old and he's always been good to me. Every day he is so wonderful and so loving and it's real. You can feel it. If you just claim words, empty dead words, there's no feeling in those. You might imagine it like watching a movie or a soap opera, but those are fake feelings. God's love is real, and you can feel God's love when he loves you. He doesn't love this world, though. He seems to be standing afar off as some of the vials are being poured out and the tribulation has started. 
He's just hoping that some of you will come to him. He knows you were deceived and he didn't know the truth. But he's given you a chance to come to him in the truth. Now is your chance. If you reject it and you claim the Bible for your faith instead of the living God through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, then you doom yourself. He doesn't doom you. You doom yourself. So come out of her. Quit idolizing the scriptures. Come to the living God through the living Jesus Christ who has a living voice who speaks to you by the living Holy Spirit. He's a resurrected Jesus Christ, our King, our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. He doesn't speak to us through the book. He speaks to us through the Spirit. You can know him and not just know about him. Come to the living Jesus Christ today so that you can really be saved. God loves you and he wants you to be saved because he is love.